Hello everybody, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Blaine's World and welcome to another reaction video. Today we are switching it up yet again. So just yesterday I reacted to B. Alonzo's farm tour. It was my first time getting out and kind of reacting to nature and just kind of getting back to my roots. I grew up on a farm so it was super fun to kind of go back to that. Um, I'll link that video up above here. But today we are checking out Heart Evangelista. I think that's how I say it. Yes, Heart Evangelista's Closet Tour Part 1. Or Closet Favorites Part 1. If you need two parts to your closet tour, you're on another level. Okay, that's insane. So I am so, so excited. So if you want to see my full reaction to Heart Evangelista's Closet Favorites Part 1, then sit back, relax, enjoy this video, and don't forget, like this video, subscribe below, and hit that notification bell. Okay, everybody, I am scooted to the side. Today, I'm actually really obsessed with this makeup. This is actually on sale today at Ulta Beauty. I'll link this below. This is the Venus palette from Lime Crime. I think it is just so pretty, such like a warm, gorgeous look, and I really love the eye makeup I came up with today. Blended like a dream, it took me like five minutes. So, obsessed, I'll link this below. But enough about that, let's just dive right into the video. Oh, bags and jewels, oh. Those bags are insane. What are the names? This is Heart, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. She is gorgeous. Requesting that I do like my top favorite bags, but because I love fashion so much, I'm going to be showing you my favorite items here in, well, this is the same place. This is my walk-in closet. I kind of rearranged my stuff here so I could see things better. Incredible. Mind you, everything in my closet has... I love her wallpaper. ...featuring my favorite bags, accessories, clothes, shoes will definitely be in a different vlog because that will take me a century to talk about. <laughs> Every shoe has a story, so that'll be a century. That'd be like me trying to talk about my entire makeup collection. It would be a lot for me if I were to tell all the stories as to why I bought it, why I love it. <laughs> that Chanel necklace. Oh, I like bags, I don't really have a whole lifetime to talk about all my bags. This is the Louis Vuitton Capucine. Oh, oh my gosh, the color! I'm obsessed right. with pastels. Very cute. This is actually a gift from them, sent from Paris. I work a lot with Louis Vuitton because I am such a huge fan. It is actually the first ever bag that I got. Just a little trivia, my dad, when we were really young, you know, my dad is also into fashion and my mom. We used to go around Beverly Hills and he got us all a bag and I was still very, very young then. Yeah, this bag is very, very cute and I think... What a relatable story. When we were kids, my dad took me to Beverly Hills and bought me my first Louis Vuitton. <laughs> It's gorgeous. That's like a timeless bag. We have another favorite brand. Ooh, I put, uh-oh, what did I do? I have concealer on it. Not. <laughs> this is from Cartier. Cartier. It is inspired by the Cartier boxes. Oh, this was cute. Also by Cartier. SSI, I love SSI. I do shop a lot of SSI stuff. They carry a lot of stores like uh, Cartier, Tiffany's. Wow, the detail on the bag is really pretty. I love, love this bag. So simple, but it's so structured. Unique. That's a conversation piece. And again, it's small. It's very modern. It matches everything, even if it's red. Um, and I just love it. And I am, again, a fan of Cartier. So I needed to get their bag. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Next up. This is very, very nice. Um, this is actually my second bag because they replaced it. I'm obsessed. This is Juliana Sergenko, third show that I watched. But gorgeous. I love showing you some of her clothes and I think it's very very unique you could put your lipstick your a piece of tissue there's just so many little things that you can put inside this bag and I love it because it's from their couture line my friend said it right reminds her those bags are perfect but they're so impractical like like she said a, one lipstick and a tissue <laughs> to have carrying around because it's a good conversation piece. It really is though, stunning on display, yeah. So yeah, Oleana Sergenko, one of my favorites, and it also reminds me of Paris. So I love just looking at it, using it from time to time. I love buying makeup on a vacation because it reminds me of that time. So her saying it reminds her of Paris. 
Oh, uh, Judith Lieber. I am obsessed with Judith Lieber. Uh, Chris Jenner has a little collection. Not little, huge collection of them. They're stunning. You should watch that video. With my real name. And so I decided that this would probably be a really, really good idea because it's like an, an ID tag. So whenever I travel or whenever I... That is literally the prettiest thing. I'm so jealous. Self. And of course, I have um, me as an actress. This is Heart. Um, and I think it's just super perfect. These two bags are my favorite. That's everything. Are you kidding me? Custom Judith Lieber, just like that's another level of like status. Oh. She told me, you know what, Heart, I'm not gonna buy you this bag. I want you to work for it. And when you're old enough, I want you to collect this bag because it's just so, it's an art piece and it's so beautiful. This is my little pillbox. I could scream. Let's see, it's the only thing I need these days. And I also. Oh my God, shameless little product plug there. It's just so pretty. That's everything. I would it be so scared to carry them. I mean, you don't carry those bags unless it's a crazy event. But oh my gosh, just to even hold it, I'd be like, what if one of the crystals falls off? Guys, everything all at the same time. You want each one to have a story. Like, I worked hard for this. I got this. When I turned this age, I got this or something like that. So again, if you are dreaming to have something that's very exquisite or something that's hard to find, you know, anything is possible. Stop settling for a bag that I want this beautiful black bag, but it's too expensive. I'll just get this bag. No, I actually, you can achieve it. You just have to wait. Even if you give yourself five years, if you just stop buying so many other black bags, you will eventually get your dream bag. So She has a really good point. Stop Don't impulse buy. Don't buy the fakes. Save, buy something real, because a lot of times it can be a really great investment. So yeah, don't settle. Don't settle for anything in life. You can achieve more than anyone tells you you can, more than you think you can. If you just tell yourself like, I've got this, I'm a queen. Like, yes, I'm living for heart so far. She's a baddie. Life, um, I've been working for the longest time and I was doing so many other things on the side so I can get my dream bag. So you know what? Stop settling and wait for the right one. And you don't wanna just have all these black bags for nothing. Just get one bag and it's the only bag that matters and it'll last you a lifetime. The bag that started it all for me. So I always wanted um, an Hermes Birkin um, and an Hermes Kelly ever since I was young because I saw my mom wear. Birkin bag, man. The status. Looked a little bit older, they said, but until I saw, I remember at that time it was Lindsay Lohan. She was wearing the bag. I was like, okay, I want a bag. Um, so the the bag that started it all for me is this. Oh, that's cerulean. This was actually a gift from my dad. That color. I remember this bag. First, it was my very, very first one. Second was um, my dad and I had a really, really bad fight and we haven't spoken for a really, really long time. And when I finally made peace with my family, this was the bag that he gave me. Um, talking about bribing me. <laughs> yeah, genuinely. I want my parents to buy me a Birkin every time I'm mad at them. <laughs> But he had a really funny way of doing things and yeah, he gave me a bag so I'll never ever forget this. I remember the same bag I had to get fixed. I was young and I didn't know how to take care of my bags and it was full of molds and it was- Oh my gosh! I have to have my first Louis Vuitton fixed. It is in kind of rough shape. Just too beautiful and too funny that I just wanted to keep it as is. So yeah, this was my first ever Birkin bag. This is another bag. I have painted on this bag for three times. Oh, so pretty. That is literally everything. Painted on when I started to paint on bags. It was the lizard skin. Then I decided to get this bag um, and I painted uh, a girl with an umbrella. She's a painter? Oh, she actually painted that? That's crazy. I was too lazy to change it and I just wanted the right mood, the right time for me to paint on it uh, with something that I feel was more muted, who I am, because I was just experimenting the last time. I love this series. Um, I do have a big painting of these pretty girls. They represent different emotions that I feel or probably different people that I see when I travel. I love painting girls. I love putting eyeliners and lipsticks. So 
that's how it is. I mean, that's the that's the honest truth. But honestly, I did enjoy making this bag. This is actually so cool. This is a hack 32. I am not so much of a fan of the Birkin 35 because I feel like it's too big on me. It looks like a luggage. The hack 32 is a bit more. It's longer. You can see that the hardware is different. But I love it because the size is just perfect. It's perfect for my child. I think I like her bag so much because they're all in like, of course, gorgeous condition. But you can tell she actually so uses them. Like she carries these bags, like they don't just sit there. Like they actually look like there's a little wear in them and I like that. Like if you're gonna buy this fashion, spend all of this money, wear it, carry it. Wow, gorgeous. I love it because it's adjustable. It can be also a clutch. You could just hide it inside. This one was um, actually something that I got from Zalora. Uh, they do have it in Zalora. Um, and I also like it because it has a little mirror. Cute also love the details i do have a few of these coming in also i ordered from zalora and it's very very pretty i like the color the color is everything um and it fits a lot of stuff and i like the the detail it has malachite eyes I, you know i feel like not a lot of people wear this bag um very interesting their jewelry but i do love their bags and i do plan to buy more <laughs> So we will save the best for last. This is the Himalayan. Oh, I chose a 25 the coloring a, 30th. a bit more for every day. I wanted to wear this only for special occasions. I'm not going to lie. It took me an arm and a leg and a whole lifetime of working. Just kidding. Um, half a lifetime of working for this bag. But I definitely considered getting this bag because it is. An How much? What? $100,000 for that bag? 50 plus? I can't even wrap my mind around it. If I look it up, I'll put a, a price on the screen. If it was this expensive, it is the only bag that I could probably, oh, uh, no, I would, I would probably, hopefully I could save everything, but in Jesus name, my house is not gonna bring up. But um, it's definitely an investment piece. You know, when you check online, there are different prices. Christie's also, they have auctions of this bag because if I'm not mistaken, they do not produce this bag for the meantime. So the price is- Oh, went up, super inflated. Google or whenever somebody tags me of this price, I did not get it that price. I got it definitely cheaper because I got it when before it became like a hype. And so I got mine. I'm not going to say the price. I think that's kind of weird. Trendsetter. Definitely not what you see online. Um, but I was very lucky that I got this bag. It took me a really, really long time to get this bag aside from I had to save for it. Because they waitlist you, right? And it was just so hard to get a Birkin 25 that was a Himalayan, but it's definitely something that I do treasure and hopefully... Yeah, it's perfect. The structure, oh, the size, it's like big enough to actually fit things. One, it's definitely an heirloom. It's definitely... Adopt me, girl! I would definitely not get the one with oh, I want the bag. It. It's not an investment piece. It's just I cannot afford it. And I, I, can, I wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't. I'm happy with this. I don't need more, more, more. But um, yeah, I'm really proud. She has a lot, but at least she's like semi-realistic. <laughs> Bold, and I definitely got my money back more than once, twice, thrice. So this is definitely the best bag. Ever. Get it, girl my next items because we kind of spent so much time talking about my bugs. But can I just have one last one? One last one. I She's like, I gotta squeeze in one more. This is something that I love. This is the- Dior! I love a bobby bag. Okay, these are classic. So cute. It's handy. It's stylish. I think I'll probably buy- A bobby bag is one of my like top like two or three bags if I ever like make it that I probably would buy. I love it in black. Lipstick, you have to make sure that it's smudge proof. Um, it's definitely the type, like L'Oreal infallible type, that you need oil to remove the red lipstick because it does stain. Another subtle product placement. White dresses, I make sure, I mean, white goes with red lipstick, but I definitely make sure that I wear the right lipstick for it. I do make sure that I wipe my bags with a dry cloth. You know the cloth that you use to wipe your cars? Yep. That's exactly the Microfiber, way. smart. To help with the mold, humid. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Humidity 
destroys clothes. This actually really works. I got this from Joy's Closet. I think I talked about this um, in one of my vlogs before. So she sells this. It's a shoe bag wipes and it is nice because it does it. It's not too wet, and but it depends which bag you're also going to use it on. Definitely not on your Birkin bags, but in some, with some bags. It's just, yeah, really taking care of your bags. Make sure that it lasts more than a lifetime. Yes, one last thing. I know having a dust bag is great, especially when you're traveling, but I do not recommend putting your bags in a dust bag because it does trap all the dust. It's not really good because you can't. Okay, that's actually, is I don't keep mine in a dust bag, so that makes sense. But you have to really make them breathe or you can have a dust bag if you do have a dehumidifier um, or if it's like in an area where the sun is shining bright on it because it does affect the color especially if you are into Birkins or leather bags with color because the sun definitely damages the bag so yeah you can put your dust bag but definitely put like you know the yeah the gel balls the ones that you buy in Ace Hardware you know yes girl I do know what you're talking about inside the bag if you're gonna have the dust bag but as much as possible I think it's better to just put the dust bag inside the bag and let it breathe Oh, accessory time! Let's see some jewels! I am excited about this part. Ever since I was a little girl, I would always accessorize. And uh, when I started my showbiz career, I was known for having all of these abubuts. A little trivia, I was definitely um, a fan of my dear friend, Jelena Magdangal. I thought that she was very unique and reminded me of people that really celebrated their individuality. And I could definitely relate to that because I was like that. Um, more is more. Ah, it was my amen. Was when I first started doing my makeup, more was more. I still wear a lot, don't get me wrong, but just a little more, a little more subtle. I really loved that about her and made her unique. It's funny, I just wanted to say that because it's true. And so, you know, this, this has been with me. Well, it accumulated actually. Definitely love dressing up my outfit with accessories. Uh, here you have my all of my Dior accessories for every day. You have the pins, you have... Does she have a beetle? One, one from my dear friend, Jewel. Oh, um, this hey. is Dolce & Gabbana. Uh, I love that. So yeah, I bought these uh, the first time I went to Paris with my husband to be. I really love them. I always wanted a good pearl earring, but then it doesn't look good on my face when it's sticking out. Um, so when I saw this and I thought it was just so unique, I wanted to get these. Um, I usually love danglings because I, I, I don't know, I love pearls, but I just can't have this stud. It just doesn't look good on me. This is like my, my Chanel area. I do love collecting brooches. Yes. That's a dream. I love a sassy brooch. I'm here for that than the others that you usually see in the store. So that was really fun. This was also from a vintage store. I love that. I love, love this. Um, and most of my Chanel earrings are from my dear online shoppers out there. So they do give me a lot of gifts. I could say I'm very, I'm very lucky. Casual Chanel presents. <laughs> I have a lot of friends on online. Um, I, I don't mind mentioning Joy's Closet, Fab and Dainty, Orlean Shop, Goodies for Lux, and there are just so many. I love online shopping, but because of the times and you know, once upon a time we got to travel nowadays, you know, you it's important that you have friends from all over the world that can shop for you. So <laughs> I just get myself. I shop for myself. Um these. Um I stopped collecting them because I why do I need more? They're cute. They're not like my favorite. I'm not obsessed with cuffs. Yourself and really just save up for your future. But uh, yeah, I think I'm happy with the colors. Um, this one is my favorite. This is a baby pink. It's like a bubblegum pink, which is very hard to find. I intended it to be gold hardware, but it was just impossible to find. So I settled with the silver. But this is beautiful. It has a really nice croc bubble pink. This is the snake skin. I'm just not obsessed with them. I wish I was more into the cuffs. They're just kind of eh for me. Outside of like a nice watch, I don't really like to wear anything on my wrist. Rings though, give me all of the rings. I also love brooches. This is my favorite Scaparelli. I was very, very happy that Lady Gaga was wearing the beautiful Dove Couture dress from Scaparelli during the inauguration of the new American president. Uh, and I loved it because I do share a piece 
This is not as big as the dove, but it is beautiful. I love That's it. so amazing. I share a piece with Lady Gaga. Bye. She was a French brand that I work closely with and I have a really good relationship with them. It started with a bangle, then it became this. Just kidding. Um, this is beautiful. That is gorgeous. Super duper, again, I'm gonna say chic. And it's lovely. And I love the weight. It's very quality. Yeah, it looks heavy. Again, you have the Bulgari. Love that. I love Bulgari. You have uh, Erdem. I love Erdem. I love their... Oh, that's gorgeous. This is Paco Rabanne. Paco Rabanne was very, very... No that's cool. Dresses. I do have a silver version of this. This is actually like a necklace, a scarf necklace. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, very stylish. Somebody asked me on my comment section if I can show you my Cartier collection, my Bulgari collection. I don't. It is really in a sacred, safe place. I do not have all my high jewelry at home. I just feel like it's just not worth keeping at home in case of anything. I do keep it in the bank. So I do have a tray that I usually take out from time to time. The rule is... The rule that's honestly is smart. Have this tray. I fill it up with you know, the stuff that I need for the week or for two weeks and I keep it for a while and then I shift again. Um, so if I wear my car tape... Wow. I definitely have Having a bank vault for your jewelry, 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 jewelry? That's so intense. I don't want to keep going to the bank and just keep changing my jewelry. That's crazy. Month, it's Royal Gem. I love their stuff. It is a local jeweler. Um, I love them because I love colorful... That colorful is insane. Like, this one is from them. Those amethysts are gorgeous. Different colors. I think I featured this in one of my vlogs and they do have this cute rainbow ring which is actually on sale. Um, this is also very, very pretty because I love unique rings, conversation pieces that aren't... It is. Just the I don't want to say costume jewelry because that like carries a negative connotation but I always thought costume jewelry was pretty so this is like the real stuff. <laughs> like it's so pretty. I love... I'm with her in the interesting jewelry. It's a lot more fun because some of the pieces that are more playful are actually cheaper yes so in case you are on a budget which I am most uh, I'm not gonna deny I'm always on a budget I definitely make sure when I get playful pieces uh, they're pretty and they're affordable and that's what I love about uh, Royal Gem I feel like her budget and my budget are two very different things with budgets so yeah this is also really really beautiful this is like a ruby necklace i love that so that's what i do when i have like a week full of work i do have a tray i fill it up with the stuff that i'm going to use and this is the only thing that i have at home everything else is tucked away in a bank that is smart yes. Yes. intense but smart oh you guys that was amazing okay i am so excited for the part two um okay part two of this coming soon Okay, everybody, that brings us to the end of another amazing video. Don't forget, if you guys like what you saw today and you want to see more content like this, comment below and let me know. I love being able to chat back and forth with you guys. Give today's video a thumbs up and subscribe below by clicking on the red button or by clicking on my face over here on the screen. If you like reaction videos, vlogs, makeup content, a little bit of everything, then definitely check out my playlist or just tune in here every week for brand new videos. But until the next time, thanks for watching and thanks for coming to Blaine's World. I love y'all.